This is the Business Today. I'm Marlon Mann. Some local consumers are expressing concern that they will not be able to buy their usual amount of goods following government's decision to remove some items from the basket of goods. The over 200 items, which include cheeses, potatoes, flying fish, and a range of fruits and vegetables, will now attract the 17.5% value-added tax, VAT. The government is hoping to raise about $20 million from this tax measure. Sean Marshall, while shopping at the Chanel supermarket in Collymore Rock yesterday with his son, told Business Today he was particularly concerned about the price increase on some items since there is no equal rise in wages. If it is that I got to be spending more money, then obviously the, the, the amount of groceries that I pick up would reduce. So if, if for argument say I am going to take up four cans of tuna, I might take up three instead now. So it's to cut back on that, that cost. The cost of living in Barbados is definitely too high because I'm not going to be able to, to purchase my full basket of groceries that I normally would. Yeah? If, if it wasn't so high. And, 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 and seeing the increase, the recent increase, it's going to drastically decrease my, my, sh my spending power, or shopping power rather. The cost going up and the wages remaining stagnant. Again, that, that reduces the spending power. Another consumer who was doing his shopping at the Massey stores at supermarkets in Sky Mall tells Business Today the price hikes will impact on his shopping habits. I believe it will affect habits. everybody's shopping habits. You would probably limit and, and you, would, um, you would cut back on the ones that are getting more expensive. I, I honestly haven't evaluated it mm -hmm. or the effect of it. Um, too much as yet, but it, obviously any in price increases are going to affect what you do and, and what you buy. It's no different for St. Andrew resident Sylvia Atherley, who says she will have to take a look at how much and how often she shops. You have to eat food, you can't, you can't eat money, so you still have to buy what you want. Okay. And you just be more selective, buy what is necessary, as opposed to just spending, you know, just going to take a look at will look at the prices and make sure that we're checking everything your spending power is reduced because if you're custom buying X or Y or Z and it comes to say $100, now you might have to fork out 150 so you can't come back as regular as you would like. I usually do big shopping like once a month, but every week you still have to come back for little items that you run out of. Yes, I'll be more selective. You have to choose carefully. Adrian Springer, purchasing manager at the Savings Plus supermarket in Rock Dunder Plaza, Cave Hill St. Michael, shared similar sentiments. However, he says customers will still have to buy items they need since they have to eat to survive. People are probably still shopping everything. Mm -hmm. um, just basically, I guess it may cut a little because of the prices, but I don't think in the supermarket business, basically chain. Um, I always say that basically, it's still got to eat to live, so mm -hmm. they still can't really um, just stop buying food some cars in the back. People complain at first, but then they still, um, still purchase the items. Uh, we still try to um, get some prices basically to pass on to the customers basically. Mm -hmm. and good prices, if we can hold back a little, if we do that basically, we give the customers better prices. Businessman Anderson Cherry has described the waste haulage business environment in Barbados as unbelievably hard. In fact, the chief executive officer of the Jose Jose Liquid and Solid Waste Management Company says business has dropped drastically in some areas. However, he says he has managed to maintain his staff complement. Cherry is calling for more investments, especially in construction, so businesses like his can benefit. Sales, sales has dropped. Uh, for instance, in the, in the construction industry, is, a, is, is dead, it's super dead. And so that will cause the garbage industry to drop because we, when, when people are building and construction going on, they rent more skip bins and stuff. Uh, we are into construction, then we pay the plants, the nurses drop, so much people not landscaping and that kind of stuff. So it's, it's very, it's very, it's very dumb, all along in all of my companies. Emir Caribbean Inc., parent company of the Barbados Light and Power Company, has denied reports that it is buying another regional power asset. Responding to the claim, which surfaced in St. Vincent, managing director of the company, Peter Williams, said in a statement this was not the case. Media reports suggest that Emir was in discussions with the Ralph Gonzalez administration on the acquisition of a controlling asset in St. Vincent Electricity Services Limited, Vinlec. However, Williams insisted that no such discussions are taking place or have taken place. 
Emiro and an Iceland-based firm are partnering with the Vincentian government to construct a U.S. $80 million geothermal power plant at the La Sofre volcano. It is expected to be completed in 2018. The two energy companies will own 75% of the geothermal power plant and the government will own the remaining 25%. Now for today's financial tip. Do not expect to achieve financial success overnight. The little you put aside in your savings each day will add up in the long term. That's been the business today. Join us again next Tuesday. Until then, you can get more business and news by logging on to www.barbadostoday.tv, subscribing to our e-paper and liking us on Facebook. I'm Marlon Mann.